All right, fellow classmates, welcome to my tutorial on how to make a basic mug. So what we're going to start off with is making one wonderful circle with a radius of seven here, right? So it is a radius of seven. We have two lines here, as you can see. One's this color, the other one's this color. So, and we're doing seven, and you'll see, because we're going to use the push-pull function and also the extrude. I'm going to go ahead and do extrude first, because this one was giving me some hard times earlier, so... We're going to do extrude first, right? And I'm going to extrude this guy up one whole unit. There it is. You can probably press one, but that was giving me some trouble earlier. So that was close enough to one for me to be happy. But then we're going to use press pull and all press pull does. Oh, and let me tell you, how did I figure out this was one? If you come down here and you look at your other image from your orthographic projection, and you come here, it is a whole unit at the bottom. So we know that the bottom here is one unit. It is not the same on the edges, but that's okay because we already have the line for that, right? So we're good there. Next, we wanna go ahead and get the actual mug shape. So we are gonna use the press pull function, but how tall is the mug gonna be? You're probably asking, the mug's gonna be 16 tall. That's because the mug from bottom to top on the ortho should be the 16 tall. And that's the front view. This right here is the front view. We're doing top view right here. Um, so we're going to use press pull. And all press pull does is you select a boundary and then it will make kind of a wall like you're looking there. So you have a boundary and you use the press pull, select the bounding areas, and then you can create a wall like substance. So we're going to hit these two walls here, right? So here and uh oh. What is this? Oh, wow. That's different. Um, Okay. <laughs> 16 tall. It's going to do 16 tall. This is different. Um, I didn't do this last time. I guess it's because the extrude is there. For some reason, it's got it all cut up. 16 tall. And 16 tall. There we go. So what we got here is the cylinder shape that we're looking for, right? Using push, pull, and extrude. Um, what we're going to do next, now, as you can see, there's like this line here. I wonder if I can join that later. That'd be kind of nifty, but it is connected, so I'm not going to bother with it too much. So what we're going to do next here is we're going to actually get the handle. In order to do that, what we're going to do is type in 3D a line. So type in 3D a line. We're going to select this object here, this one. This is what we want because this is the actual curvature, the center curvature of this elliptical here. So we have that. We're going to hit enter. And then we're going to select its base. It's looking for a base point. So we're going to select base point at the bottom there and base point at the top right down center. It's going to ask you for a third point. No need to specify. It's a 2D shape. So we're going to hit enter. Right. And we're going to find our center over here. Uh-oh. Where are you, center? The center of our circle if it will allow me to, there's one center, all right? And we gotta find this other center here, right? And now we gotta select that third point and you're gonna wanna select one of these wonderful crosshairs down here at the bottom. If you put it over here, it's gonna be on the opposite side. If you put it over here, it's gonna be where it needs to be. So that's where you're gonna have it. That's that third point you're aligning. So now you have a three point alignment and perfectly aligned on there. All right, so now we have the curvature. Now, lastly, all we want to do is get the actual 3D shape to press upon here. So all we're going to use, right, is the sweep function. Now, all sweep does kind of like revolve, not the same exactly, but you select a path, and then you select the shape, and then this thing will sweep that shape all the way up the path. So you'll have a 3D one. It's kind of like revolve. The revolve is a bit different because it doesn't have to be a full shape it's more working with an axis and like a line curve or something so we're going to use sweep right so we need to select our object sweep we're going to select this object here because this is the object we want to sweep i mean of course you could probably just select this one but we're not going to do that we're going to select this one all right and hit enter and then it's going to select the path that you want to sweep and here is your pathway and bam there it is now you have a mug It's actually kind of weird. It's not like 100% here. I wonder 